What I'm going to do in this video is cover some of the advanced aspects of Garment Maker and Cloth Effects in terms of groups and how you can animate some of these parameters. I, I, there are a lot of things that you can do that a lot of people aren't aware of by animating the constraints and things like that. And so that's what this video is going to cover. Um, and in this case I've got my my generic man and in this case I've added a simple animation to him. He's had a very big meal so his stomach's bulging out and what I want to do is I'm going to take this pattern of a vest and I'm going to clothe him in that and then at, some, at a point in the animation I'm going to have the vest kind of burst open and it's going to show you some of the uh, the constraint work that can uh, that you can do within cloth and cloth effects so in this case I've got my pattern and if I look at it from a top view let's roll in here and go to vertex subobject mode you can see I've already broken the the seam edges that I want and I've got this little buttonhole here with uh, seam edges broken so that this hole is maintained regardless of what happens within Garment Maker and at this point I can go ahead and throw Garment Maker on it and actually let's bring this down to one so it's a little bit quicker on the simulation in fact actually let's go to 0.9 and again, you'll notice that that buttonhole right here is intact. So in a user viewport, let's go into panel subobject mode. And the first thing I'm going to do is rotate these panels up so that they're, whoops, let's turn on snaps. A little bit over. There we go. And I'm going to take this panel, considering it's his back, the back of the vest, and Let's go ahead and move it into position so that it's placed where we want it to be, roughly. There we go. And then, actually, back in a user view, let's select this panel again. Let's put it all the way to the back. There we go. Front viewport. Now, this panel is actually going to reside over here. It's got the buttonhole. And this one's going to reside over here. And again, in a user viewport, I can move those fairly close. Now, right now, I have these two front panels overlapping, completely overlapping, right here in this area. And that's not a good thing. Cloth effects doesn't like that. It bugs out when you do that. So you really want to offset your panels to a certain extent. Now, I know that the buttonhole's here, so this would actually be the side that would have a button on it. And so I'm going to push it back a little bit so it's not really in the way. Okay. So everything fairly straightforward so far. If I go into seam subobject mode, I can certainly grab the seams and create the seam. And of course, I can change my seam tolerance if there's a problem. Create that seam. And in this case, it's backwards as well. So I'll reverse that seam out. And I'll do the same over here. Create the seam and reverse it. And then the, along the sides of his vest, and I'll create there. Now, you may be asking about how do you create a vest, how do you build these patterns, and just a, another little tip that your your uh, roommates or wife or girlfriend or boyfriend or whoever it is um, will probably hate you for, but uh, I can tell you I've done it on my own, is that um, taking old clothing, clothing that you no longer wear, can't wear, would be ashamed to wear, you can actually uh, tear it apart into its original patterns and I've done that on plenty of occasions as my wife will attest and it gives you some pretty good insights as to how clothing is put together and in this case this is really kind of similar to a pattern that uh, to a vest that uh, I had been given that never wore but in any event let's move on here now I've got my my panel set and they're all ready to be they're seamed together now you'll notice I don't have a seam between these front two panels let's go ahead and save our our work here. So I'm going to hit save as. Instead of it being start, I'm going to call it placed. Now, let's go ahead and throw gar uh, cloth effects on top. So the first thing I'm going to do is my vest is going to be the default. And in fact, I'll bring my damping down a little bit so I don't need it. And then I'm going to add my generic man as a collision object. And considering he's pretty much to scale, I'm going to bring his offset down and push the depth up just a little bit. 
and make sure that everything else is turned on, self-collision. Let's turn gravity off. Now, here's the first thing that you're going to notice when you start simulating this guy. Turn on simulate, and notice as he pulls together, the front panels pull apart by default. Well, there's no seam line, there's no sewing spring to hold these things together, so naturally they're going to flow apart, and that's not the way I want the vest to start. I don't want that to happen. I want it to be as if it's buttoned and together. So we need to use groups for that. I'm going to go ahead and reset the state. Now I'm going to go into group sub-object mode. I'm go into my front viewport. Zoom in here. Let's turn this off. And what I want to do is I'm going to select all these verts that overlap roughly first. I'm going to grab all those and then I'm going to clean this up. Now, first of all, I don't need all of these front verts. Those are really kind of unnecessary. Because really all I need are these back verts. And I can tell that, you know, that one and all of these really aren't necessary. So I've got this deal. And I'm going to call it back panel overlap. And so that's those vertices. And really what I want to do is I want to attach them to cloth. I want them to be attached to themselves so that they don't tend to pull apart when the simulation is running. And what's more is that I can take the constraint itself and I can tell it to have an offset. So right now it's, you know, they're behind. I don't want them to come flush with these first these uh, front verts and this, this front piece of cloth. I want them to, to maintain their kind of relative positions. So basically they are behind the cloth, so they're going to get a negative number, negative 0 point, let's say 3. And I'll leave the strength there. And if I now back out and simulate local again, you'll notice now well, I've got some interpenetration here. You can see right now that the the offset's pretty pretty heavy duty, and it's not really doing what I want. I'll hit Escape. Let's reset the state. Go back to my group, and in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the constraint a little bit, and I'm going to reduce the overall strength. I don't necessarily need to pull it quite so hard. And let's bring up the, the damping a little bit so it'll slow down. It's not going to have quite as much force acting on it. Let's simulate again. And basically, we just want to get this thing into position. Now, it's a pretty rough piece of cloth here. But you can tell that it settles itself in. And I probably have too few triangles here, realistically, to, to get a really great simulation out of this. I mean, I've got some folds and some creases across here. It's not too bad. It's not great. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my group sub-object mode. And now I'm going to look at these. So right now I can see this is the hole for my button. And I'm going to select that vert. I'm going to call it front panel button vert. Say OK. 